So, uh, what are we gonna do tonight, OCG? Why, the same thing we try to do every night, but take over the world. I mean, uh, Twitch, uh, take over Twitch. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again by my manservant slash Buckteutum Bertram. And this is my review for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Try saying that with three bottles of gin in your system. Ha! Now this Call of Duty title is the latest in what has become an almost yearly opportunity for men to exercise their right to bear arms and let loose with something far more hardcore than a water pistol. Or perhaps for 12 year olds to go online and do something meaningful besides masturbating, all the while screaming profanities and drinking an endless supply of bloody mountain dew. So, in my introduction, I have already established that people who play Call of Duty online are either 12-year-olds, wankers, or diabetics. So, in this review, I think I'll be focusing solely on the campaign for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Try saying that with three bottles of gin in your system. <laughs> now, the story itself is your usual mix of six-pack shouting and shooting as you track down a terrorist bent on blowing up several nuclear weapons in Europe to start World War Three or some such nonsense. Shakespeare, this is not. And that's to be expected. Shakespeare in a Call of Duty game would be as appropriate as Kevin Spacey in an all-boy school. Now, what separates this from other Call of Duty titles is the fact that it is set against the backdrop of the Cold War. What? What's the Cold War? Well, uh, pick up a history textbook, or uh, look it up on Wikipedia for God's sake. I'm here to review Cold War, not Cold Boar. <laughs> My apologies. Now, the campaign this time tries to mix up the formula by offering you optional objectives, optional missions, and even choices that will decide the fates of several unimportant characters, but what it has in common with most Call of Duty campaigns is its brevity. And for the idiots amongst you, that means the campaign is short. Not uh, Peter Dinklage short or Blink and your miss it short, but four to five hours short. Which might be a blessing to those of you with a short attention span. Or no brain. I'm looking at you, cast of Love Island. Now, my main issue with Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War, try saying that with three bottles of gin in your system, was the performance on the PlayStation 4. Cutscenes would often look like slideshow projections, with more stuttering than Michael J. Bloody Fox after he drank 12 cans of Red Bull whilst having a sugar crash, then suffering a fright. So, if you are going to play Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War, whatever, then I suggest sticking to the next-gen versions. Whatever your preference may be.
But we all know you're going to be playing the PlayStation 5, since that's the console I recommend, and telling Xbox and the PC to figuratively, literally, metaphorically suck your genitals. So, <clears throat> I always enjoy Call of Duty campaigns, and this one is no different. The online mode itself can go to hell alongside every 12-year-old Mountain Dew-addicted masturbator who plays it. Therefore, in conclusion, I am going to give Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War a 7 out of 10. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my review for... The title I've said several times and made the same joke over repeatedly. If you've enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, perhaps give me the middle finger. Please feel free to leave some abuse for me in my comment section. And as always, remember the most important thing. Stay obsessed with gaming. Yes.